What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to go over Angel Breath farming in Diablo 4 Season 4 because I know if you guys are like me, this is something that I have been severely struggling keeping up, like re-rolling all of my gear, changing gear, etc. It seems to be that Angel's Breath is the true bottleneck. Now, I do want to make a quick disclaimer before you guys go in and just slaughter me in the comments. And just talk about how you have a bajillion. Now, I have played four different characters this season. I'm getting ready to play Druid at some point as well. And not only that, I've been re-rolling a crap ton of gear for all of the different classes. As well as just my main class Sorcerer here. So even if I wasn't doing uh, other classes, I do just want to note that like I've re-rolled so many items for Sork. It's insane right now because Sork... As we all know, we're struggling until the recent um, patch update. Now, today I want to go over how to farm Angel's Breaths, okay? This is probably one of the kind of worst bottlenecks that we've had inside of the game. And there's only a few different ways to actually get it. So if you go in here and you look, it says it can be found from Resplendent Chests or in Harvest Nodes. But this also can be found on Elites inside the Helltide or inside Nightmare Dungeons when you're farming. So... Initially, we got two different strategies, and I thought that the first one was really going to be the best one. And that would be non-stop summoning of the Accursed Ritual, which you can see some people are doing right now because the icon is actually pulsating. Now, when you kill, when you kill the Blood Maiden, you're getting three or four Angel's Breaths every single time you kill her. And yes, there is other Elites. However, I did do a back-to-back -back where I farmed specifically her nonstop for an hour. And then I did the current method, which is what I'm going to show you today. And that is going to be doing events. Events are great because you get 10 Angel's Breath per event along with a bunch of other items. And depending on the event, there can be uh, you know a large amount of elites that spawn with it depending on the event. Obviously, we want the ones like you guys just saw me do where it's like waves or you know survive until the timer runs out or kill x amount of enemies or like um what is it the the ghost shrine the urn like events like that are really really good just all the kill ones not ones that are like take really long or the ones that just really are very slow like protect the three different carriages that's a really bad event however we're going to go over here to the hellties.com and just so you know this is how we do this we want to come over here. You get to see the, the Helltide. And more importantly, you guys get to see where the events actually spawn. So I'm down here on this event. This isn't one that we're going to cycle through. But essentially, we want to go through the three closest. Now, this is a very good one because there's four that are pretty close. So ideally, you want to hit this, 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 this. In reality, I'd probably use these three because it's just a direct line. There's not all this in-between stuff. However, if you are fast enough, you can go in-between. The idea is to go from one event to another and just constantly do them until you are... Oh, I died. Until you are done farming for the hour. Now, you are going to rack up plenty of cinders doing this. And you'll be able to open all of the, you know, uh, living steel chests as well as the mystery chests by the time you actually finish all this now there is one small difference if you're killing her in any fashion see we got another event like this one is a bad event to do however you know it, it it's still pretty good um it just takes a little bit if again if you're in a party you're going to be able to do this much faster which is great um now you will get a lot more cinders if you're farming the blood maiden because you're just constantly doing that now one one trick to this as well is make sure you come over here and you pop a profine mine cage just so you can get more cinders for when you open your chest at the end and then more importantly to fill up this bar a lot faster so that way you can spawn a bunch of elites which in turn will give you anywhere from like two to three cinders a piece if they drop it remember guys elites don't always 100 percent drop Okay, you have to keep that in mind. But as you continue to farm many, many, many um, elites, you should be able to get plenty of Angel's Breath. So in one go around, I was able to get um, around 280 the very first time that I did the event case. And I was only able to get about 190 with the um, just spawning of the Blood Maiden. So it was a little bit less. Um, however, it is a little bit faster. So 
It kind of depends on what you're wanting to do. If you want to double this up with the Iron Wolves Honor Reputation, then I definitely suggest doing the Blood Maiden. However, if you're strictly going for just, just, see, 10 more Angel's Breaths. If you're just trying to farm for Angel's Breaths, then this is definitely, definitely the better strategy. So we just finished one. We're going to run over. And we're going to ignore absolutely everything unless you have like a big elite pack, right? Unless you have a big elite pack. Okay, so we didn't have an event here. So then we'll go up to here and we're just going to blast through, right? We're just going to do this. Unless there's a big group of elites, we're just going to ignore it. Oh, another event. Sweet. The Jar of Souls. Even better. This is a quick one. That last event that we did is pretty like subpar when it comes to the events that you want. Because, again, these are only a minute. And remember, like, we did a video on how to farm the Blood Maiden efficiently for uh, Iron Wolves reputation. And that one takes about a minute and ten seconds. So one of these are about the same. Like, unless you get a slower event, you're going to be still farming it. The difference is, is that over the course of the hour, you know, it is easier to farm her because you can just continuously summon her and you don't have to do any traveling. Right? But I have found that... You do this so much faster. You can clear this. Look, we still got 30 seconds. We're going to kill this guy. Boom. Get our angel's breaths. 10 more right here. Right? 10 more. Boom. That's it. Now we can go over to the next one, which I think was... Where was it? It's like right here if we want. And we just spawn this over and over and over again for the full duration of the hour. You should be able to get enough cinders to open up all of your living steals and your mystery chest now when you open these ones you can get anywhere from seven angels breaths to 13 angels breaths it's completely random i've gotten 13 ones i've gotten 11 ones i've gotten nine ones so it is random but when you open all four of those that is plenty of angels breaths that you're going to need boom we run over here another event uh restart destiny oh it must have just ended here we go this is a good event right here uh, just for, for the elite spawns. This one probably takes... This is probably one of the ones that takes the longest. Uh, but you can get a lot of elites in, in this event, which is great. But yeah, guys, this is the way that I have been farming Angel's Breaths. So you can get upwards of 300 plus Angel's Breaths per hour each time the Helltide pops, which is actually a lot. So once you find like a build that you don't really need to tweak anymore and you're just farming, then it's really good. I just think it's really punishing to not be able to farm, you know, and have this bottleneck, especially if you find, like, greater affixed gear, you know. If if I find better gloves and they're all greater affix, now I have to spend the time to re-roll and do all those things. And as six Angel's Breaths a pop, that's a lot of Angel's Breaths. You go through those pretty quick on top of the gold as well. So, um, yeah, guys, this is the strategy that I have found has helped me the most um, this season to farm Angel's Breaths. I don't feel as bad after, you know, like doing a session of this and coming out with, you know, two, three hundred angels breasts. It feels pretty good and that can last me a good while if I have a, you know, decent affixes on my gear. So this is strategy I found, guys. Like the video. Let's get this over 50 likes. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have a different strategy for farming angels breasts in season four. Boom. Again, we got 10 more. Just absolutely blasting. So. Let me know, guys, down in the comments if you have a different strategy than me. Maybe there's one that's actually faster. Uh, but, yeah, this is what I found to work the best. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.